Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, the car is packed. I am more excited this time than probably any other time because I'm moving. Uh, I'm moving up to Williamsport. I got myself a place, which you guys will see shortly. I'm very excited about it. This is just trip one. Uh, this is a lot of stuff. Um, mainly just things I don't need for the next week that I'm still living here. Uh, and then it'll all go up next week and I'm gonna be there pretty much until the start of school and then I'll just be coming back and forth between here and up there. Uh, probably picking up some cars down here, taking them up there to sell. I don't know yet. This video is all about the house. It's probably gonna span about a month. It's gonna be my entire move-in process. It's gonna be getting the house ready, getting it to my liking, and getting ready for the school year. So I'm about to hit the road now. And yeah, tomorrow, it's Thursday now. Tomorrow I get the keys, so you'll see the house tomorrow. Tonight we're just going up, going out to dinner for uh, Silva's brother's birthday, and just having a good night. All right, I'm here with Silva. Young Silva. We're in the garage right now. Um, Trailblazer will fit once I get these shelves out of here. But yeah, this is going to be the new detailing area. This is Devotion Central here. This I'm probably going to have to take down to leave enough space to pull a car in. That whole like tool thing, I think I'm going to put on my porch up there where the house is. Um, this, I don't know. I really like this shelf. But I think it's going to be in the way of a car coming in, so probably going to be taking that down as well. Because the big thing here is I need storage for cars. I might, I could put this little shelf over there if I take the big one down. And maybe put another little shelf over there. We get a free Pontiac Trans Am wheel. Men tire. Yeah. Let's go see the house. Yeah, so here's more of a look on the outside. I get all this yard space. Neighbor's kid has their toys in. And now I get some space behind the garage. If I wanted to put a tow dolly in, I get all that space down there, or a trailer, or a boat, something like that. And then I get all this parking space up here. I mean, the big thing with this place is I needed space to park a bunch of cars, space to do a bunch of work on cars. And I mean, I get, I could fit probably one, two, three, four maybe in this section maybe five if you're really smart and don't care about a mirror getting whacked off if someone comes flying down this gravel driveway or alleyway i have to do some tree trimming down there because not a single car can fit through that without scraping on the branches um but anyway let's go inside the house it's over here by the way this is silva's new car what is it 2006 7 2009 2009 passat yeah Pretty fun car. It's, it's a 2.0 uh, turbo. Next, up on Devotion Detail. next uh, yeah, that's going to be one of the first cars to christen the new shop. Apart from mine. Gotta get mine. I want to get it ceramic coated in that shop. But yeah, I'm going to have a whole light set up. You see, I got a balcony up there with my room. We'll go look at that now. That's my basement access down there. And then you got this weird looking porch, which needs a doorknob. Fucking latched. We might have to go around the front. Well, that latched, so this gives us an opportunity to come around to the front of the house, which you can see, quiet road, really nice area. A little intersection down there. And here she is. This used to be a gas lamp. Oh, no way. That's cool. cool. That's really cool. Might convert it to electric, but I don't even know why it would need a lamp. All of these houses have them. That one's still, that might be fake, I don't know, but that one's got something lit in there. Who knows? All right, MTV Cribs, here we go. Um, yeah, so that's the porch. We got that, finally got that stupid porch door open. Let's get some lights going on right here. There we go. I don't know, that's all the lights I can seem to get on right now. This is the dining room, obviously kitchen. A little bit of a tight space, but make it work. Yeah, that cigarette smell. Yeah, it smells pretty whack right now. Um, Nice fridge. I'll take that. Oh yeah. And then there's the oven and that drawer down there is sitting out on the porch. Right. Yeah, I don't know why the drawer's taken out. I guess they were cleaning it. Um, dining room, we get these little weird like porthole windows and then we get a nice big window with the table like right in the middle here underneath the 
like what? Uh, no, nah, that's a landlord stuff, I guess, who's coming through cleaning the place up or trying to. Dude who lived here before me was a trucker, and it just smells whack in here. Living room, you get this nice big bay window, which is cool. You get to look out at the uh, stop sign out there. Um, you get a porch out there. Pretty old style deadbolt lock. Porch swing, though. Look how exciting that is. Cool ish view. You saw us out at the porch earlier. Fireplace, which actually does work. Uh, probably not gonna use that too much, but it's there if I want it. Got a nice big spot for like a painting or I don't know. I, I have so many spots that I could put the TV right now. Like I could put it on a TV table here, put the couches there, put it there, put the couches here, uh, do a TV table there with the windows, put the couches over here. I don't know, that's, that's gonna be for me to figure out later. That's true. If I put it on that wall there, like the whole living room could watch it. Like I could put like a couch here, a couple chairs over there, love seat back here if I wanted to, and they'd still be able to see it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. That's for next time I'm up here laying out furniture. I gotta get furniture still. I don't have much, but here's the staircase here. As you can see, I get some ceiling fans. I have central air too, which is really nice. It's a little bit darker up here. Unfortunately, it's only a one bathroom. It really should be a two bathroom with the way um, the one bedroom set up, but I don't really care. It's kind of nice. I like these uh, tiles in here. Backsplash or whatever you call it. Nice little vanity. Look at that. Look out towards the garage. Here's the main hallway going down here. This is going to be my room. It's not the master, but I like it because it's got a balcony. You can look out. And the sun sets right over there, so it'll be very nice. Um, Ethernet cable, I think. I don't know what that is. Maybe fiber optics. Another view out towards the uh, intersection out there. Um, I got a little closet. I don't need a closet anyway. Um, down this way, we have the master bedroom, which I'm probably going to rent out to a college student this year. I'm hoping to rent both bedrooms. I don't know if I'm going to be able to rent both this year. This just might be like, I don't even know what I'd make this room other than storage if I just have someone else staying in here. I don't know, I could probably put like a couch up in here or something for the time being. Put the bed in, have it as a guest room. Or it could be like Probably gonna be a guest room or an office here. I like I like it though. It's if this had the balcony, I would take this room because I really like the layout. Apart from the chimney coming up through the middle, that goes to the attic up there. We don't need to see that basement too. I mean they're just kind of gross looking. Yeah, it looks like any other basement. This is what sucks. This is the master. Beautiful view, like big open windows. Um, nice spot for a bed over there. You know, plenty of spaces for a dresser and all that. This should be a bathroom. It's not though. They never converted it. It just stayed, always stayed a closet. So what sucks is it, this house only has one bathroom and the master bedroom doesn't have a bathroom. It just has two closets. But it has some storage space. I don't know. It's got an air conditioning vent. It's got two air conditioning vents in it. So someone could easily like set up an office or something in there. But yeah, so that's the place. This is a home sweet home now, at least for the next school year. Uh, my lease ends in May, so if I don't like it or I don't like the landlord, I can get out of it in May. Um, I wanted to make sure I had that flexibility, but as of now, it looks like a good place. Hopefully my neighbor is cool because it's a duplex, but I told her like her kids can use the yard because obviously I'm not gonna, I'm not using the yard for much, I don't care. Let the kids run. Let them have a good time. Enjoy the sun. Better than them sitting inside all day. But, yeah, the one thing that's got to change, that basketball net cannot be staying in my driveway. I got to use every inch of that driveway when I got cars here, so. And I can't be having kids playing basketball around my clients' cars and all that. It's got to be a safe location. But... Definitely, it's in a nicer area of Williamsport, so I think it'll be easier for clients to drop off their cars here. It's not in a sketchy area. 
it's easier for me not having to worry about stuff getting stolen and all that. And it's just a nice house. It's and it's a big garage, so it's pretty much perfect. It's what exactly what I was looking for. So we're gonna start moving the stuff in out of the Trailblazer. And then I don't know, we gotta make a run to Harbor Freight. We got a couple errands to run today. But I'm not staying in the house tonight. I'll do that next weekend while I'm here. I I don't really care to be in it alone. <laughs> not that not that it's like creepy or anything, it's just we'd rather You don't know if it's haunted. Oh, well, it might be haunted. It does give off those vibes. I'll tell you that, it gives off the haunted house vibes with like the big iron grate air conditioning units, uh, air conditioning vents and all that. But the air conditioning unit itself is a newer unit, which is nice. So I don't have to worry about that taking a shit on me at all. Get the little uh, little walkway light in case anyone is uh, stumbling about at night, can't see. So yeah, that's the house. Take you back downstairs to where it's light. We're gonna fill it up with the carload of crap that I got. Oh, and you also get a nice little closet for like shoes and coats and stuff like that when you walk in. Fill up with all the crap I got and uh, yeah, go on from there. Well, Andrew and I just did a little bit of shopping. Went to Weiss, got some groceries, errands. Went to a thrift store, got myself a measuring cup. Gonna go put that in the uh, kitchen. But I got, more importantly, some tools and my top chest, so. These were the remainder of the tools I needed for my automotive program that I couldn't get off of Mac Tools website. And obviously the top chest too, I need that. And then the rest of my tools, I got an actual kit off of Mac Tools, which should be awesome. Should be arriving in the next couple of weeks. We're trying to figure out what we want to do for the rest of the day today. It's looking like thunderstorms now, but yep, we're just back here. Trailblazer's looking good, parked on the side of the road. I haven't shown this actually on a video yet, the new wheels, but I put a GMC Canyon AT4 takeoff wheel and tires on there with some spacers. All right, we're hitting the road now, we're in the Passat. I don't think, I don't, yeah, I've really not shown this car much, but it's nice. It's a, like we said, it was a 2009 2.0 turbo. You feel the turbo too, it's a, it's, it, it's it's a, a good driver. Torque. It's got a nice low end torque, yep. Plenty of space back there. Andrew's got the map out. He's our navigator for today. Don't know how to use this thing. Though. He doesn't know how to how to use it, but he's gonna be the navigator for today. We're going hitting up our favorite place, Vinny's. Always got to do Vinny's when we're here. And then uh, I think we're riding out towards Lock Haven. Um, there's a couple like sightseeing places. It's pretty scenic. There's a good. There's a really good Goodwill, which I need because I need stuff for the house. And uh, the thunderstorms have kind of passed through, so I think we'll be good to go after we're done eating. We might hit a few. It's it's hot today. It's like almost 100 degrees today. Um, we're in the dead of summer at this point, so when it gets this hot, you've got a chance of thunderstorms any day. So we'll see what happens. It should be a good time. All right, we, we got Sam on the phone right now directing us. Uh, Andrew's navigation skills didn't hold up. And uh, I'm driving the Passat. I like this car. It's Pioneer Run Road. Road. This is a comfy car. <laughs> Andrew's getting all the fancy angles. See those clouds out there. But I think we should be avoiding this rain. Stop number one here. What is this? Lilpine Dam and Vista. So this is all Lil Pine State Park. Silva's swapping over. He's gonna drive now. Look at that. Walk over there a little bit. Yeah, we should. And get some pictures of the facade. Yeah, that's a very cool picture right there. Look at that. But yeah. So here we're gonna take a little walk. Pretty area. Uh oh. 
Guess where? Oh no, our table, it's broken. No picnics. Look at that. The adjustable table. <laughs> you adjust it to whatever uh, size you need. That is beautiful. And apparently this is just the beginning of the views. It gets even better. I heard the hill right there too. This is one stop on the Yeah. Where you see Sam Soder? Sam, yeah, this is all Sam's doing. He found all this through his maps. So wait, it's like what, 98 out right now? I don't see that bad. You're, you're dripping in the sweatshirt? He's he's literally dripping right now. <laughs> dripping in sweat. <laughs> Harvard. <laughs> All right, Harvard. that's location one. Harvard, yeah, he's obviously going to Harvard. That's why he's so smart, he's wearing a sweatshirt right now in the middle there? of summer. <laughs> what do they do there? <laughs> Probably still in the COVID phase right now. Well, we thought we'd be avoiding this road. <laughs> Silva says it becomes pretty much a V at one point because of narrow man. Yeah, I see it. Well, at least the Passat's not really like clean. Because it's kicking up a lot of dust back there. That's the fun part. Exactly. It's, 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 a, it's a good car. It's been, it's, it was really comfy to drive. We'll see if it survives. It was really comfy to drive. I enjoy driving it here a lot. It's a very comfy seat. It's smooth as can be. Really, really good motor. I like it. Now we get three miles of this even narrower gravel road and then we'll be at the lookout. So we got the storms over there. We're at the top of the hill now. There's a Passat. She did good. She's got a lot of dust now. This is a nice little top. It's nice and cool up here. I'll tell you what, that feels really good right now because the sun's away, because these clouds coming up. Here's that fireman statue again. Like, I don't know. That's the same type of statue that's at, um... We all got turned on by that last time. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not even joking. You. Okay, that's uh, that's good to know. Guess we're not taking him to a uh, Grand Canyon anymore. Yeah, it's at the PA Grand Canyon. Damn, that view. Feel this, just ooh. You can feel the storm too, like. This is right up there. Uh, what is it, par parasailing or? Or no, it's the, the flying squirrel suits. That's what they are. That's cool. I don't think I would do that either. You can see the rain just falling. Wow. This is like the perfect time to come up here. All right, on to our next stop. The place was pretty cool. Our next stop is uh, Goodwill. A bit of a different stop than a scenic lookout. All right, here we go. Goodwill, look, there's a Mercury Villager sitting oh, outside. When was the last time, Ben's? All right. When was the last time you saw a Mer Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. That's clean. That's a clean Villager right that there. So clean, like But, uh, yeah, Silva's saying this Goodwill's good, so we better, better not be let down here. It's going to be good to me. <laughs> All right, let's go see what it is. All right, as you can see, we got some stuff here. This was a good Goodwill. Um, I got myself a very nice coffee, like not coffee table, but TV table. It's got glass, the glass lids here for the shelves. I got a toaster, big toaster. A couple other things, wine rack, essentials. Will it fit? Oh man, Andrew's losing his space. You can probably flip, yeah. Look at that. The Passat, the ultimate. Oh, and I got some picture frames, which Andrew's got. All right, cool. Then we got plenty of trunk space still to put other stuff in. All right, we're going to yesterday's. There we go. Andrew's, Andrew's buying Vinny's too. Though, Andrew's buying more Vinny's for us. Vinny's part two. We always have Vinny's part one and Vinny's part two. Yeah, we're just hitting up some of these back roads now. We're gonna see if there's any cool cars or anything. You never know what you'll find in these like backcountry PA towns like this. A town back there was Renovo, by the way. We just exited it. Now we're gonna head back down towards Lock Haven. I believe we're going to try to hit up another Goodwill. Well, 
uh, week two, I guess I can't really call it week two, but this is drive two up to Williamsport. This is everything. Everything but like two sets of wheels and some tools because I got to work on this next weekend. Um, I'm going up, today's Monday, I'm going up until Friday morning of this week. So I got five days to, well, four days at this point, you know, three. Um, yeah, because I'm leaving Friday morning, but three days, give or take, to get this stuff set up in the house. All That's all the furniture I'm going to need for the house, plus all my stuff, toolboxes, lawnmower, stuff like that. And then I've got the Trailblazer full, we got this Jeep full, my dad's car. Um, and yeah, we're going to run up this week. We're going to get everything unpacked, get some stuff set up, decorated in the house, get buy a couple more things. And then... I come home for the weekend and then I've got one more week before school starts to get the house ready and get ready for my tenants that are moving in because I got two roommates. I should say roommates, not tenants, but anyway, a couple of things to get done. We're about to hit the road now up to Williamsport, going to stop and get some groceries first. Um, yeah, we got the U-Haul. Uh, this is a 2016 Econoline, I'm sure it's an E350. It's got the 6.8 liter V10 in it, which is just... Yeah, pretty sluggish and disgusting. <laughs> Mine is misfiring when you put a load on it. So thank you, U-Haul, for giving me a great engine to work with. Um, but you, you see it's got a lot of space up here in the cabin, a lot of space in the back. It's going to get the job done for me. But yeah, let's, uh, let's stop uh, goofing around out here and hit the road. All right, so you can hear this thing is a 10-cylinder beast. <laughs> Loud motor. It's, a, it's got a little bit of a tick to it, which is, a, like I said, a little annoying, but go and uh, pass this truck here. But yeah, we're on our way now. We did our grocery shopping. It is 5.45, so way later than I wanted to leave today, but we're moving. Moving and grooving. We'll get there when we get there, and we'll uh, see what time we get everything unpacked tonight. Probably 1 in the morning, but it's all right. We can sleep in tomorrow. We don't have much going on tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's get to Williams for. Well, it's probably hard to tell because it's really dark, but we arrived out there. U-Haul was out there, but I just moved out front to the front of the yard, or front of the house in the street parking. It's finally starting to come together and look like a house. Look, well, look like a home that's lived in. So I'm quite happy about that. Got a lot of the stuff unpacked, but got all the groceries put away. Um, we're not going to be putting things together and really decorating until tomorrow. Obviously the dining room tables and pieces still, but set up a couple of things. I don't know, I originally got that for the corner in there, but I really honestly kind of like it there. We're going to see about that. Um, yeah, just a couple of things set up here. Uh, in here, same thing, just everything's kind of just thrown around, but eventually it'll be set up and all of these dressers have to go upstairs take you upstairs now so you can see the difference i mean i think i think everyone remembers me putting that up before when i was here before but everything else is the same We're just kind of thrown in here mattresses against the walls actually those two will go up tomorrow i just didn't want to take them up tonight because i'm just going to use an air mattress tonight um up here the bathroom got a nice little rug over here matches the curtains I just put up got a couple of things set up over here toilet nook I don't even think I really gave the tour of the bathroom because it doesn't really matter a lot more crap to throw in my room actually I don't know who did that but that was a stupid idea I guess that's fine um, but yeah a lot more stuff put all around my room and coming down the hallway here, the other rooms have a lot more in it now too. Obviously those dressers and stuff are going to move up here tomorrow. TV table's going to go in this room since it's the master. Got a couple of things and then the beds will have to get put together because they're all just sitting up against the walls right now. And this one I got, I got a dresser for and I might at some point this week go and get a desk. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know yet. I still might put a desk in this room. But, yep, so that's what we got here. Close this closet. I think it closes, yeah, it closes. 
yeah, that's what we got here. Uh, it's like 11 o'clock, so we're probably gonna go try to find some place to get food. Um, if not, eat the snacks here, and then, uh, yeah, get back to it tomorrow morning. All right, day two is almost done. It's like six o'clock, you can see. Outside, the sun's starting to come down on the other side of the house. We got a fair bit accomplished. We got a lot of stuff in its permanent place. Um, a lot of stuff still needs to move, obviously. There's stuff, this is gonna get over there. That chair's going over here. But we got a lot of new furniture in here, a lot of things set up, and just a little bit of things to set up tomorrow and get finalized, get ready. Um, this is new, we picked this up today. A uh, little corner cabinet, because I, I really like the corner cabinet that's in the dining room there. So we're gonna keep that in there and set up this one here, and this one lights up, so I really like that. And see here, I'm gonna turn it off now, because obviously there's nothing even in it. Got a clock set up, and it works. Probably gonna keep that picture for now. Um, bean bags, if anyone needs them. The couch is set up, and as well as TV set up, and this is where the lazy boy is gonna go, so someone else can watch it. Still got boxes to go through and get rid of. Um, dining room still pretty much the same. Just the uh, table's finally set up off the ground. Nice little view out the window, and we have some curtains on some things, but yeah, other than that, I think I had that stuff in there yesterday. I don't know if it's going to stay or not. It, it works. I like it. The kitchen looks very lived in now. Um, obviously, this is all stuff I still got to deal with, and I got to go through that, but everything else is pretty much good to go. Um, we did some cleaning, cleaned, uh, obviously not that window, but some windows today got cleaned. Um, yeah, I'll take you upstairs. Mm. I think this was here yesterday, but this sits in the, uh, in the stairwell. Everything looks a lot more lived in now up here. The bathroom is done. There's nothing else really that has to happen with the bathroom. I think it's pretty much the same as yesterday. But my room is what's really been switched up. I put the bed here. I was gonna have it over there where that box, of, all the boxes are, but I like it here. Desk is still set up the same. I just gotta hook up the computer and all that when I get the chance either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, but I don't know, I might not even do that this time while I'm up. I might just do that when I'm, after I come back from going home next weekend. Um, yeah, cause I don't have too much time and big thing is a garage probably to end out this video, last project we have to do, I need to empty that garage and put a bunch of stuff to the curb. Um, but going down to everyone else's rooms. This is the master. Master's looking really cool. I moved that TV table that was downstairs up here. Dresser. Cool little lamp that I found. Put that new shade on, because it was missing a shade. And then the closet's the same, obviously. I took all the Stormtrooper stickers out of it. Took some stuff up to the attic. Set up this room. Dresser over here. Don't know. That's messing with my OCD. Um, yeah, obviously we were cleaning some glass, so glass, all, all sorts of cleaners all over the place still, but, but yeah, got, I picked up this desk and chair today, um, that was the only furniture apart from the other thing that I got today. Yep, you can see the U-Haul sitting out front, and yeah, the bed went here, which I, I think this guy's got one of the coolest views in the house because you got both sides and the beds like set perfectly to see both of them. So yeah, obviously still some stuff that needs to get put away and little things here and there that we're going to do. But for now, I got to return that U-Haul because that's due back by 7 and it's 6. And then uh, I think I'm just going to make some dinner and then after dinner see how much energy I have to do some other little things for the night before the night's done. All right, last video clip of today, the second day here, Tuesday. Um, living room set. I mean, you can see this here. All that's really left for tomorrow is a couple boxes still need to be gone through, and they're all for my room. 
and then I gotta set up the TV and everything for the entertainment center, all the consoles in there. Uh, vacuum, gotta find a place for that because that closet got full, but I think we're gonna have to make it fit in there. Or else it's just gonna have to sit somewhere, like, I guess in this corner. But, yeah, as you can see, just a couple boxes that still need to be dealt with, put away, and everything else put together. Dinner, we did dinner in the kitchen, it was great. Um, yeah, just got some trash. I'm about to take this out now. To, tonight is actually trash night, I found out from the landlord. But yeah, we had a nice meal at this table. Finished cleaning up the living room. Got all the stuff moved out from back there, apart from my tools for the school year this year. Yeah, tomorrow it's just nitty gritty boxes and cleaning a couple of things. I wanna, we're gonna try to see if we can clean this mantle a bit. Um, and taking price tags off of things, because you can see there's price tags on everything. I might do a little shopping trip. My big thing for tomorrow is I need to tackle that garage because I want to leave before I leave Friday morning. I want to have a pile of all the stuff in that garage to go um, get picked up by the landlord's dump truck because um, I need that garage cleaned out so next week I can start getting it set up for a detailing garage and start booking clients as the following weeks start coming. I hopefully can put it out an ad and get some clients. So yeah, that's a big priority for me and coming up next. All right, it is now Wednesday. Uh, didn't get to do much today. Bought some new stuff though, bought a new tool. Little uh, Milwaukee Impact right there. Sit down so I can focus it in. Look at that. So yeah, been using that. We're actually gonna secure this bed because we learned the hard way last night that this, uh, these were not secured. Yeah, mattress just collapsed right in. Still gotta do all these boxes, that's probably next up. We're hanging curtains now. And uh, moved a couple of things downstairs, which I'll show you now. Down here, put a bigger picture in front of the mantle. Probably gonna put some stuff, other stuff up there still. Still gotta do curtains in here. Put some stuff on the wall. Actually all, yeah, some Ferrari posters. We got this mini fridge set up. Um, that is still hardening. I'm going to let that sit for like probably 24 hours because that little tab was broken off. We got a napkin holder. But yeah, we're basically tie backs going on here for the curtains. Everything in here is pretty much the same. Charging that battery up there. Got a little thing for the any utensils on the stove. Oh, I got bar stools. That's the other thing. Yeah, picked up those today because that really helps for there. All right, a beautiful hot start to this Thursday here, or last day here this week before heading back for the weekend. But look at this. Tackled the garage this morning. Took out all the junk. I'm pretty sure you all remember how bad this place was. Um, there was just junk all over. A bunch of furniture here, which was not needed. Got that out of here. Um, kept the ladders, kept stuff that I need. Obviously my hunting rack, but I kept all the stuff I need. One of these windows is going to become the outlet pipe for my air conditioning. But that's later on. I got to find the air conditioning unit first. Look at this. Look what I found. B&M shifter. That's pretty cool. That's sticking around here. Um, fortunately, I was trying to move some dry oil, and it all spilled out of the bucket it was in. So I'm going to have to get that into something. Get it taken care of. And I gotta shovel out some of this dirt around here and over here and fill some potholes. So that's on the rest of the agenda for this morning. Then I gotta run a couple errands again and then pack to leave tomorrow morning because I'm leaving at like five in the morning. But yeah, workshop set up over here. I got a nice work table with a vise, storage, shelving. This bay is gonna have to be for a shorter or smaller vehicle like my Jeep could fit in here, but I don't know what else because those shelves are pretty wide, but I need them. They're very necessary. Um, this is moving up to the porch. This is just a bunch of garden tools and all that. You can go sit up there. Uh, and then everything else is staying. So, yeah, it's looking good. Oh, and speaking of the alleyway, did some work on the alleyway as well. If you remember, that was all overgrown and a car, any cars going through there would just get scraped by the trees and I was not taking my cars or my clients cars through there with that. Um, it's bad enough that after a car gets detailed they're just gonna have to pull it out onto gravel but it is what it is. It's what we get here. 
but now it's nice and open anyone can come through here the only hope is it doesn't become too traffic like people don't just start cutting through here to avoid roads but we'll see what happens um, obviously tires couldn't get taken today so they're sitting over here they'll get taken some other day as well as that storm door but it looks a lot better now and I found out that back here is apparently like a little creek when it rains but not right now obviously because it didn't rain yep pretty nice I'm, I'm happy I'm happy with my garage now I can finally park my car in here and then next week when I'm back um, which will be probably a whole nother video next week is setting it up for detailing I can do a how to how to set up a detailing garage because that's what this is going to become as well as storage